Hi there. So quick little tutorial inside of Clip Studio Paint. Um, so let's say you're trying to, you know, you're doing line art and you're trying to get some rope done. Or, you know, in this case, it's like a reins on for like a horse or maybe even like a, a tail or hair or something. Like you're just trying to get some parallel lines going on. So, you know, uh, in this case, this character's holding like the reins of a horse. You're trying to just trying to get like some lines down and you want them to be like even even spacing from each other um that sounds kind of bad so, but you know maybe you're working with like a mouse or something i don't know um and you know you get these variable kind of line widths they're not even uh just kind of an easy way to do that inside of clip studio paint uh just create like a new layer and i'm going to add a border effect so in the effects panel up here click on border effect i'm going to fill the edge color with like uh see you want it. just make it black um, and then you know how thick you want your line to be so let's just say two for now whatever um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use kind of this like uh, thick sort of brush you know no tapering or anything like that no opacity just a straight like this is in the marker I think this is a default brush just the fill in mono pen and we're just going to you know choose white so make sure your color is white and just kind of Know, trace over like the thickness of the ropes make sure the brush size is the thickness of the rope or you know the hair or tail or whatever you know whatever you're doing and just you know get it however you want it to go kind of undoing a lot but whatever um, so let's say you know let that's that's the thickness and that's fine so you can see here the black lines um, are even parallel because there's no tapering inside of this brush right uh, so the next thing you can do is you can uh, right click on your layer and rasterize it. So now your effect is going away. This is all just one thing. If I try, if I try to erase just the line, you know, I can also erase that white filling, right? Um, so maybe you've seen that before. You know, you'd see people go from you know change your layer style from normal to multiply. Oh, the white's away. Great. Um, you know, now I can erase the lines here and you know done right okay well that's cool uh, so you can do that the problem with doing that doing it that way though is that you know what if you wanted to change the color of your lines so you know instead of instead of black I wanted it to be red right and then you set the opacity lock and then you know you try to color it red so you see the problem right there is the white filling is still present even though you can't see it as a multiply layer. So what you can do is change it back to normal. And we'll have that, you know, the white filling, the uh, black stroke, the black outline. Um, and Clip Studio has got this option. If you go to edit, convert brightness to opacity. Oops, you got to turn off. Oh, there it goes. Um, so what it did now was it just took all of that white filling and it said okay well any bright colors on this layer are now going to be transparent so now you know it's still opacity locked I have my red color so now if I wanted that line to be red now I can change the color of that line right so it's pretty cool and then you can go in to the background layer and like erase all this erase all the junk that you don't want Right, but I want that to be black, so I'm going to keep that as black. Oops, turn off the opacity lock so I can fill it in. Right, so simple parallel lines. So these are all even, you know, those are even. And again, if you want them to be thicker lines, you just during the effect stage, you just increase the thickness, right. Um, you know, it doesn't just work for like rope or things like that. You know, if you were trying to uh, draw like a tail or something, you know, so like, uh, so you remember you make a new layer, change the effect to, uh, you want the edge color to be black, and then you want to paint with white. So, you know, if you're doing like a tail, right? So a tail tapers, and then it gets thicker as it goes to like the uh, whatever it's attached to right you can add like uh, some stabilize options to make sure you know 
uh, it doesn't like wobble or anything like that. Uh, so, you know, let's say this is a tail or something. I'll do it again. So, you, you know, you can adjust how thick you want the line to be. And you can go back in, like maybe you want that to taper a little bit more. Right. Uh, so then you right click the layer, rasterize it. Actually, I can fix it while it's rasterized. There we go. So after you rasterize it, you edit, convert brightness to opacity, let it do its thing. It's going to get rid of that white, and bam, you got you got your lines. So if I opacity lock it, if I want to change the color of my line, I can do so. So pretty cool. Just wanted to show a lot of people that. I, I know that a lot of people have seen the... Uh, use the you know border effect when doing like a large amount of hair and you automatically get that outline um, but this gives you a little bit more control over how your line looks in the end so uh, hope that helps people